This is Packet Tracer 3.5.2.3, adding a switch to a VTP domain. The objectives are to configure the VTP domain mode and password, clear the VTP revision number, and add a switch to an existing VTP domain, and use show commands to verify VTP configuration. We're going to be adding a new switch. We're going to begin by going to the command line on the VTP server. And we are going to look at the VTP configurations. So show VTP status. And as you can see, the revision number, number of VLANs, operating mode, and domain name. Let's compare that to the new switch, show VTP status, the revision number, VLANs, the operating mode, and domain name, which are totally different than the server, so we need to fix that. But first, we're going to connect this switch to the network. Now we have to configure the ports. We're going to configure them as trunks. So we're going to enable CompT 0 slash 23. I'm going to do switch port mode trunk and copy run start on this switch comp t f a 0 slash 24 switch port mode trunk and oops copy run start and now they are trunked we need to configure the vtp back into comp t VTP domain is Cisco, then VTP mode, client, VTP password, password, end, copy run start, and then we go back to the server, show VLAN, both of these should be exactly the same, show VLAN, and it may take a few minutes to show up. It looks like they are the same. Let's check our completion. And we are done.